This video will provide you with information on how physiotherapy aids in your recovery from surgery. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle before your surgery is important. Regular exercise such as walking or cycling, at least 30 minutes a day helps to keep your body fit and facilitate recovery after surgery. It is also recommended that you have a healthy and balanced diet, as well as to stop smoking, as smoking can slow down your body's healing ability. Effects of anesthesia and wound pain can affect your breathing and effectiveness of coughing, possibly leading to the retention of phlegm. Prolonged bed rest can also cause muscle weakness, delaying your road to recovery post-surgery. Physiotherapy can help to tackle these problems by assisting in chest care, limb exercises, and early mobilization. It is important that you clear your phlegm to prevent chest infection. You may feel pain when coughing, and supporting your wound as you cough can help you cough effectively and with less pain. Support your wound by placing a small cushion over it. Provide a gentle but firm pressure. Take a deep breath in and cough strongly. <coughs> you can take in 3 to 4 deep breaths before supported coughing to clear phlegm more effectively. This cycle can be repeated after a short break until phlegm is cleared. Deep breathing regularly using the incentive spirometer after surgery is strongly recommended to prevent post-surgery complications pertaining to breathing. It has a mouthpiece, a yellow piston on the left, which indicates the volume of inhaled air, and a small yellow indicator on the right to indicate the breathing speed. First, affix the mouthpiece to the device. Sit upright on a chair or prop yourself up in the bed as high as you can. Hold the incentive spirometer in an upright position. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth and seal your lips around it. Breathe in slowly and deeply as possible. Try to keep the yellow coach indicator on the right in the smiley face as you do so. Notice the yellow piston rising on the left. Hold your breath for 3 seconds. Then exhale slowly and allow the piston to fall to the bottom of the column. Rest for a few seconds and repeat the steps 10 times every waking hour. Limb exercises help maintain muscle strength, improve exercise tolerance and facilitate blood circulation to prevent blood clots forming as a result of reduced activity after surgery. Here is how you can exercise your arms while in bed. First, lift your arm out towards the ceiling, then bring it down. Repeat 10 times. Second, bend and straighten your elbow. Repeat 10 times. Here is how you can exercise your legs while in bed. First, slide your leg up and down on the bed, bending your hip and knee as far as possible, then straighten it. Repeat 10 times. Second, Keeping your leg straight on the bed, move it away from the other leg and back. Repeat 10 times. Third, move your ankle up and down. Repeat 10 times. Sitting out of bed on day one after surgery is usually recommended. To get out of bed safely with minimum pain, start by rolling to your non-surgery side. Move your feet off the bed but keep your thighs on the bed. Push yourself up with your arms. You will then be assisted to be transferred onto a chair. To facilitate early discharge, moving around as soon as possible after surgery can help improve exercise tolerance and maintain muscle strength. The painkillers may make you feel nauseous and giddy. Thus, you are advised to begin walking with your nurse or physiotherapist unless advised against by your doctor. Lastly, it is important to take a break if you experience symptoms such as breathlessness, extreme pain, and giddiness. Stop the exercises if the symptoms persist and inform your therapist, nurse, or doctor immediately.